Hi everyone, I am Anushree Saral and I am a student in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Florida. I am here to present my pattern recognition project. The topic is face image comparisons. First of all, I would take this opportunity to thank my professor, Dr. Depengu, for his help and guidance. I feel privileged to be a part of his class. Let's begin with the presentation now. Face recognition is a computer system used for the identification or verification of human from a digital image or a video image. Face comparison is based on image processing where various aspects of an individual are used as vital parameters in distinguishing one person from another. Face recognition is basically made up of two processes, face detection and then face recognition. Face recognition has a variety of applications. It is used in digital photography. Nowadays, all the latest cameras and handicams have this face detection feature. It is also used in surveillance. Face recognition is used by forensic companies and detective companies to fight against antisocial elements. It is also used in album organization. Social networking sites like Facebook are utilizing this technique. We will be studying two face recognition techniques. First, eigenface approach. Second, lineage mapping. Let's go through the background. The earliest work on face recognition started in the 1960s. Eigenfaces, neural network, hidden Markov model, geometrical feature matching, and template matching are some of the most successful methods developed till date. Eigenfaces is the most studied technique. Neural networks was different from the eigenface technique because of its non-linear nature which resulted into a better feature extraction of face images. Dynamic link architecture is an extension of neural network. Sparse graphs are used for representation, but the matching process is very expensive. Let us study recognition using eigenface. The method of eigenface was developed by Sirovich and Kirby and used by Turk and Pentland in face recognition. Eigenfaces are a set of eigenvectors used in human face recognition. Any human face can be considered to be a combination of these standard faces. This technique considers the face as a whole like a single component. It does not draw distinction on part by part basis like the eyes, nose, ears, lips, eyebrows, etc. The images of the face are projected in a subspace using principal component analysis. PCA allows us to compute a linear transformation that maps data from higher dimensional space to a lower dimensional subspace. Now we'll go through the eigenphase algorithm. First, we need to prepare a training set with a collection of images of different individuals. 
all the images should have same resolution. Each image is seen as one vector simply by concatenating the rows of pixels in the original image. Next step is the calculation of eigenfaces from the images that make up the training set. Calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the covariance matrix. The eigenvectors of this covariance matrix are therefore called eigenfaces. Eigenfaces are the directions in which the images in the training set differ from the mean image. Projection of every image of the training set is done onto the image space and weights are calculated for each image. M weights represent each image. The test image now undergoes the same process and is now represented by M weights. The distance of M weights from each of other weights is calculated. The image corresponding to the minimum of these calculated distances is the closest match to the original image. There are a few limitations in this eigenphase technique. It is not robust in conditions which have a large variation in illumination levels. Also, when there is misalignment and a lot of variation in the background, eigenphase technique fails. Now let us go through recognition using lineage map. We all know that humans recognize line drawings well and with the same accuracy levels as that of gray level pictures. Edge images of objects is used for object recognition. TECAX used edge maps for face recognition. Sobel edge detection algorithm was used to encipher the images into binary edge maps. Now we go through the algorithm. Prepare a training set with a collection of images of different individuals as we did in Eigenface. The face images of the training set are transformed into gray level pictures. Sobel edge detection algorithm is used to encipher the images to their binary edge maps. Line segment Hausdorff distance is used to describe the matching of face images. There may be two line edge maps, ML and TL. This is the formula given for the calculation of line segment or stop distance. The LHD is calculated in three directions. It has three components. The advantages of edge line mapping is that it is partially illuminant invariant. Since it only needs to know the starting and the end point the memory requirements are low. Also, the recognition performance is equivalent to that of template matching. Now let us compare the two techniques. Conditions where the variation in illumination levels is major, edge map technique performs better than eigenfaces. This is because Edge images are used for recognition which are insensitive to variation in illumination. In case of changes in facial expressions, edge map is not that effective as compared to eigenfaces. Now, let me take you through the MATLAB code. First of all, we will see how face recognition takes place 
using eigen phase technique so these are my codes here i have maintained a training database and a test database a training database consists of uh, different images of individuals and all these images are compared with the images in the test database so now let's run the code here i have to select the path of both the databases since all my images are numbered from 1 to 10 so i can put in any number to select an image so let's put 4 see here i have got a test image and an equivalent image so test image is an image from the database from the test database and it is equivalent to this image which is taken out from the training database now we'll see how the sobel operator works i have got an image a uh, named 6 this is my sobel operator code this is used to give me the sobel edge map so let's run it okay so here is the original image and this is the sobel line edge map after using the sobel edge detection algorithm this is used in the edge mapping technique okay so thank you for watching my presentation